Former Governor Robert Bentley could have done so, but he refused. Though now that he's out of office and has literally no accountability or responsibility, he claims to support expanding Medicaid. There were two op-eds published recently that remind us of the urgent need to expand Medicaid in the state of Alabama. Robin Hyden, the executive director of Alabama Arise, wrote in the Selma Sun last month about the decade of missed opportunity, the 17 hospitals that have closed, the more than 600 Alabamians who die every year due to lack of health coverage, and the more than 300,000 working class Alabamians who would gain health care through Medicaid expansion. She also shared how 38 other states have done so and benefited, including other southern states like Arkansas and Louisiana. Now, Arkansas and Louisiana, not exactly New York and California. In a similar piece, David Bronner, head of the Retirement Systems of Alabama, once again used his platform of the RSA advisor to call on Alabama leadership's, Alabama's leadership to expand Medicaid. And now, you know, David Bronner, head of the retirement system, not exactly a uh, left wing militant here, not not a radical by any means, uh, though many Republicans do have a grudge against him. So, again, he he has uh, frequently called on the state to expand Medicaid, and I really appreciate him using his platform and his voice to do so. Um, he reminded us that former Governor Robert Bentley the notorious love gov could have done so at literally no cost for the first three years, but he refused. Though now that he's out of office and has literally no accountability or responsibility, he claims to support expanding Medicaid. How convenient. Uh, Bronner also mentioned the billions of dollars Alabama's missing out on by this cruel refusal to expand Medicaid. According to Cover Alabama, which is a coalition uh, spearheaded by Alabama Arise, over 60 percent of Alabamians support expanding Medicaid. Over 60 percent. And and I know we reported on that previously when the poll came out uh, that even a majority of Republicans support it. It would save the state hundreds of millions of dollars, create tens of thousands of jobs, all while literally saving and improving the lives of working-class folks. Medicaid expansion is one of the most clear-cut options on the table for Alabama to improve the lives of its citizens. So, it's 2022. We still haven't done it yet. It's it's really a, a shame. Um, I'll also mention here that the American Rescue Plan uh, did have some incentives for states to finally expand Medicaid, the, what, 12 that haven't. Uh, So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, If you haven't called Governor Ivey lately, call down there and wake her up and see see what she has to say. She could do this. The legislature could do this. Um, I don't want to hear any garbage about we can't afford it because it literally pays for itself. If we're going to talk about fiscal responsibility. Um, uh, Alabama Rise also did some reporting quite a while back now, but about how this would actually help the prison crisis, right? Because expanding Medicaid would improve hospitals. It would actually expand. uh, Basically, it would help subsidize some of the prisoner health care. It's like there's no losers here. There, it's a win-win-win scenario. Nobody is going to lose in this situation, um, which just makes it all the more frustrating and absurd that it hasn't happened yet. And I think we just have to ask ourselves, why would the leadership of Alabama refuse to do things that would help the state of Alabama and help the people that live here? You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free 
to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project, and you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm.